Abby Martin is getting an early start on costume shopping for her three kids. Some sort of scary monster for our oldest. We said Minnie Mouse for a Scout, and I don't know about the baby. <laughs> Retailers like this Halloween Express store in Germantown are already seeing signs of what analysts predict will be a record year. Our sales have been higher than in previous years at this time. The National Retail Federation predicts more than $10 billion in Halloween spending this year, a 25% increase over last year. But store manager Libby Bossman says there's a catch. So this is like typically our decor aisle and it's usually very full. And this year, it's just either gone already or we're just waiting on it. Supply chain issues are leaving some store shelves empty. The items that filled these racks once sold out quickly, and now it's just a waiting game to see if new supplies will roll in in time. And the supply scare is having an especially frightening impact on certain items. Skeletons. There is a skeleton shortage. Animatronics are a little harder to get right now. Another concern is a staffing shortage hitting not only the stores, but even pumpkin farms like Bossy's in Colgate with its popular pumpkin fest. It's been challenging even to find people to run a um, simple operation here. A scary situation for businesses and for anyone still thinking about doing Halloween shopping. Well, see, I'm glad that we're doing it early, right? In Germantown, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. A skeleton shortage. The National Retail Federation says consumers are expected to spend an average of $103 on Halloween-related items this year.